Okay, so here we are at Empire Mining's very first YouTube video. I'm gonna take you through our, well, I say, I'm gonna say micro mining facility, but as far as it's, to us, it's a pretty large mining facility. Face recognition camera. So here we are in the Empire Mining Room. I'll give you a run by for the bricks and a little quick down. Uh, what is this one? Basically, all these bricks are set up here. We have 240 lines coming in from the back here. This is back there. Makeshift plastic that uh, our computer store, which we share space with, and uh, as you can see, the plastic actually keeps the heat from going into our office temporarily during the sun. Um, also, to show you the ventilation that we have going on here, uh, breeze through the door. Through, uh, this is actually foam slash filtration from um, from a fish tank, believe it or not. So we change this out every month or two to keep uh, everything in here pretty clean. Uh, for the most part, uh, this is it. Uh, and we have fan systems that go through, they bring the air through the door. Well, we're here, you know, so a typical day, uh, it's 90 degrees outside. It actually stays, you know, pretty cool here in Lima. Uh, this is uh, what it's currently at right now, which is yeah, really good. So uh, give me a quick rundown of some of our rigs. So here is, uh, this is basically a um, older Biostar. So this is one of our very first, uh, we're not very, one of our very first bricks. Uh, we got into this about four years ago. Um, you know, right when he started, our very first machine was a NVIDIA uh, six car rig, uh, 6 10.70s. Uh, at the time we paid pretty good money for that and uh, we didn't know about the A and D chips and then you know, chipset and you know, how much cheap they were, we were learning. Um, that was our first and last video rig. Um, now they are all AMD. Uh, currently here, you will see uh, there is four Red Devil cars. You see the LED lights. Uh, the rest are uh, four Azus cars over there. As you can hear right now, uh, well, as you can hear the noise that just ran though, that is one of the power supplies right there. <laughs> so that's uh, getting hot with the airflow change in the room. Uh, but we've got four ATUs, five seventies, and four sapphire pulse cars. Uh, this rig is running on, uh, you can see right here, it's got a 1500 watt power supply right there, <coughs> running eight of the cars. Um, with rig outboards from Parallel Mining, who have uh, been very good to us. We, uh, we've been working with them for you know, merchandise, we don't buy a whole lot, but you know, we buy what, what we can put into use. Um, controlling the other four cars and, and um, is uh, basically that's a HP server motherboard with a breakout board also from parallel mining. Uh, so basically this controls four of the cards. This actually has power as you can see, um, 24 pin and everything that actually powers the motherboard. Uh, you know, feeds the risers, feeds the cards. Um, up here, it's a similar breakout. Uh, this one's a little bit more simpler. Uh, we drove around, this is one of our old fashioned Batman rig. Uh, as you see some of the problems. Uh, these are all ROG, you know, uh, strikes, uh, 570s. Uh, this rig's pretty old. Uh, this is one of our runs. So this rig's running on the exact same thing. We have the layout over here. Uh, basically another 1500 watt. These are one of the most common power supplies we use. So basically, uh, this is only uh, 240 watts and runs 50, uh, 240 volts. It runs 1500 watts. So, uh, as you can see, uh, you know, there's the breakout board for parallel mining. We're going to sell on 12 volt coming out to the cards. Uh, once again, feed in the weather. All right, um, these PDUs, we have three of them feeding um, on three basically 20 amp circuits. So they're feeding about 16 amps, which is pretty much the max for those PDUs. That's what feeds these power supplies. Um, up here, we have um, this is another mixed rig. Um, this has everything from a uh, MSI car to the Strikes car. The majority of them in here, uh, even the Gigabit here at the end. So 
So um, this is uh, pretty much that. They all always said USB drives in the mall. We're all running uh, simple mining. So uh, this one, once again, this has uh, same stuff, two power supplies, uh, Pico on one in there. Uh, a little bit tighter on here. Uh, this is an ASRock 13 card. So as you can see, that is feeding 13 cards up here. Um, feeding for the PDU. Um, at first, these motherboards gave us a little bit of trouble. Um, and I'll explain later in the video with some of the other rigs. Uh, you know, but for the most part, uh, this particular one's been running pretty good. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm sure everybody has their own pros and cons to give each of these. Um, you know, we'll drop over to here to, uh, to uh, a seven card rig that we have. Um, as you can see here, this is a very, very much a gaming motherboard. Uh, so that's a seven card rig. We picked some of these up on eBay while you could, while things were good. Uh, this one one power supply power in this rig. It's pretty clean rig, you know, pretty efficient. You know, one set of cards. Uh, these are all, you know, Azu Strikes cards. Um, so, uh, you know, with that being said, these are 570s. Uh, the majority of our rigs are 570s. Um, but this is basically a gaming motherboard that uh, happens to have, uh, you know, um, the seven PCI Express ports. Uh, like I said, these things are very hard to get now due to, you know, mining. Um, you know, so, um, up here, we have basically um, another, um, this is basically another, I believe, by, uh, no, it's ASRock. So there's an ASRock board here. This is, um, this is a nine card um, ASRock board here. So, so this actually has room for a few cards extra. Um, basically, well, hard time getting cards now, so, so uh, as you see on here, a lot of Jesus Strikes cards, MSI, uh, Sapphire card, uh, another Jesus, so basically that's a mixed rig. Uh, people watching this probably say, hey, it looks like you got some of these, you can swap some of these cards around and make them all in one rig. Um, basically, we'll, these things have been so stable, we're afraid to touch them. You know, once you start messing around with them, you're running the problems. They're producing money right now, which we'll explain later on in the video. Um, but, you know, they don't have to be all the same. We try to keep them when we do. Um, this is a perfect example of one that was recently built. Um, this, this one's a pretty neat rig. This is basically all 5,600 ASMAR cards. So, um, this is what we're so, As you can see, what makes this unique, um, we got two basically uh, power supplies running this. Um, you know, pretty cool cabling on here. Um, this one actually also has a uh, you know, breakout board, you know, parallel mining. Uh, but notice the fans on these do not spin as much. They only spin when needed. Uh, pretty good considering these, these cars. I think they're pulling about 40 years. Um, and the efficiency on these cars, the wattage and everything. Like, we'll show you a video. Uh, Uh, 
that's this is definitely the eight car rig. Yes, eight car. These are all gigabit cards. Um, they're all gigabit, basically. Um, you know, parts. I think these are five seventy or five eighties. Um, but basically, you're able to get these cards um, on the last batch. Um, this motherboard. This motherboard actually, this is a BTC D37. So basically this is custom for planning. As you can see, you know, it doesn't need a uh, separate pin or anything. It just feeds the riser that are built into the motherboard. Um, in the description, we'll put links to you know, where these boards are, pictures and stuff like that. But this is basically one of our first, and we have several, you know, which I'll be showing you a little bit. Um, but this is a... Uh, Pretty good. We went out and we experimented with this. So far, so good. It's been great. Uh, you know, the wiring this is very simple. Um, there's an extra fan up there when on, on hot days, uh, heat was getting trapped in the corner. Once again, we could have changed the ventilation on here. You know, we got certain fans. Uh, these ports have ports for lots of fans. Uh, through that little $10 fan that we had lying around there, did the job and will stay there probably throughout the winter also. Uh, but, you know, um, that's one where, you know, it's, um, sometimes that's it's just a minor adjustment you have to make, and, you know, that little $10 fan saves a lot of guesswork with the thing. So there you pretty much have it. Um, so this is basically, uh, majority of our binding. Uh, I'll give you, you know, in a little bit, you know, I'm going to go shoot the other things, and we do have, uh, it's, uh, me and Mason have, you know, basically, we're at this facility, you know, it's, uh, we both have, Rigs our house because we ran out of electricity here. Uh, we didn't want to pay tons of money to up the amperage, so you know we ended up deciding to bring a rigger to a home. 